New limits on which sports teams transgender athletes can play on could be coming in Missouri. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains the legislation approved in the state house today. It started as legislation to require photo ID to vote and a provision about school transportation. Instead, it turned into a pair of bills that would require transgender athletes to play on the team that matches their birth certificate. Believe it or not, this bill is about elections. Two bills, two different topics, one hot button issue that's being discussed nationwide. If you're looking for the good in the bill, it is looking for a piece of hay in a needle stack. One bill, a large elections package requiring photo ID to vote and allowing the Secretary of State to audit voter registration. We got off the subject a little bit when we perfected this bill. It now would allow school districts to ask their voters if transgender athletes with mail on their birth certificate should be allowed to play on girls sports teams. As a member of the LGBT community, this is an issue that I take personally. Bill 2, school transportation, but includes language to require transgender students to compete on teams that match their biological sex on their birth certificates. There are less than 10 children in this state that this bill will affect. Democrat Ian Mackey, an openly gay representative, says he's heard from Republicans who don't like the idea but voted in favor anyway. It won't be signed into law. It won't make it to the governor's desk. That's what they tell themselves because that's what they tell me. And I know that's what they tell themselves. I hope they're right, but they're tempting fate. The Senate spent part of Thursday working on their own version, prohibiting funds from schools. That no athletic team or sport designated for biological females shall be open to students that are biological males. It is devolved into a really unfortunate situation, and so I would be okay with us uh, closing up shop and moving on to uh, next session. These bills are now in the hands of the Senate who have two weeks before session ends. The Missouri High School Association does have a policy in place for transgender athletes, only allowing transgender females to compete on girls' sports teams as long as they've taken hormone treatment for at least one year. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.